Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. PC fanatics are up in arms over how Apple doesn't allow you to build your own Mac. Well, um, I hate to say it, but there's a reason, and it's a good reason why Apple doesn't let people build their own Mac or use OS X on a machine that Apple doesn't fully control. Some people would say, oh, that's not how things should be, but I guess I'm not going to open up that debate. I am, however, going to open up this debate. I got an email here from uh, Lamont Jackson from LamontJackson.com. He says, on March 5th, 2008, at about 5.30 a.m., I made my first ever purchase of a laptop. It's a monster indeed. I've wanted to buy my laptop for years, just never decided to put the money together to do it. I'm in the tech industry working as a consultant, so I get asked all the time why I don't have a laptop. I guess most normal beings feel us techs are born with one, but go figure. It made me think though, why isn't there an industry standard for building laptops, notebook computers? A small MBD form factor that could be used like we use desktop PCs. I can't imagine this would somehow affect the industry's bottom line. As many people build their own computers, their desktop machines, PCs, but companies like, well, you name the OEM, continue to prosper. Well, maybe not, you know, some companies. So Chris, my question is, what gives? Why isn't there an industry standard on motherboards and cases that techs can use to build their own laptops? Was this attempted years ago and just didn't fly? And my last question is, what percentage of people in the US, how many would you say build their own PCs versus those that buy? We had this discussion at work and I said about 12%, but many of the other network admins and consultants said it's closer to 5%. I can't believe that as I'd be getting paid a lot more for what I do if that was the case. Anyway, those are my questions. I look forward to the answer from email or in the podcast. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to our podcast, you can do that in iTunes, the Zune, uh, you can find the link at the blog, chris.perillo.com. Of course, a lot of people just subscribe to YouTube, so it's no big deal. Um, well, Lamont, I do believe, uh, to, to try to break it down here, uh, I don't think that 12% of the U.S. population or even the world population builds their own computers. I think it is closer to 5%. In fact, I think 5% is rather liberal. Most people will just buy something off the shelf. That's just the way it goes. It's a matter of convenience. It's a matter of feeling like you're getting taken care of. Uh, it may be, you know, feeling like they need to go with a, a bigger brand and they feel that there's a, a sense of trust. Although, you know, that sense of trust is often in, invalidated after the first tech support call. I seem to remember there was a movement uh, where you could build your own laptop. Of course, there's a lot of things that go into a laptop, and engineering is, is likely the biggest part of it. And you really don't have to worry about so much engineering with a desktop PC. I mean, engineering is important, like the placement of cables, cords, etc. Airflow uh, primarily is the, the reason why PC or case engineering is important. Um, but the desktop PC is stationary. It doesn't move around, whereas the notebook computer was it needs to be designed to be moved around. So weight is a concern. Uh, the way the lid shuts. Uh, the, you know the the connections that that work between the screen and the motherboard or the the video controller. Um, you know, I is it possible that you'd be able to build your own laptop? Um, there you go. Build his own pre-built laptops. Um, I think you could do it. You could dig around for it, but at the end of the day, I, I, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, if you want full control over what it is that you're making, then I suppose. Have you really built your own laptop? Have, do you know of other people who've built their own laptops before? It's just so much easier to uh, open up a catalog or go to a website and going, yeah, that one looks nice. That's what most people do. They do that with desktop PCs. Heck, even I'm guilty of that. And for the only the only reason being, um, sure, I like messing around with hardware and tweaking things and you know pushing performance and setting things up. But you know when it comes to just getting stuff done, um, unless I'm going to be putting a you know a pre-built machine or I'm sorry, what a self-built machine in some kind of parade. Uh, then I just don't care about, you know, it.
I want that one. That one looks good. Ooh, that one looks even better. Can I get this one in red? Uh, so, I believe there are ways, and, uh, you know, I've never done it before, so I couldn't tell you where to go, although I'm sure people will be able to throw in where to go. I do believe there are ways you can build your own notebook computer. And they are called, I guess, notebook machines, not laptops anymore. I, I'm not sure how the, uh, who decided that, really, but, um, uh, you know, they, they, they fit on your lap, and they kind of look like, uh, a notebook. Not really. I don't know, what it, what, if you guys had a choice, just asking the PC enthusiasts, you know, the computer configurator, how, how, what kind of word should I call you? People who like building computers, com I was going to say configurator, but then that's not really a word, but then again, we're making up a, I don't know. Anyway, any modders out there, if you had the choice, you know, with a wide variety of accessories available to you, would you build your own laptop? Would you build your own notebook computer? Uh, it's just a question. Um, I don't know if I would. I mean, it, there's a lot of complexities that go into building something that's designed to be mobile. You just don't have the same challenges. It, it, it's a different level of challenge uh, with uh, something that is supposed to be going from point A to point B. For instance, you know, um, having a hard drive that's going to be able to detect motion, uh, to, to shut itself down when it, it detects that it's moving. Um, and the reason why that's important is because, well, if you drop your machine or something bumps it and it's writing to the disk, you might mess up that disk. I don't know. I don't know. I just can't imagine them being there being a, a lot of ways you can configure a laptop or a notebook computer. You'd pretty much be limited by the case and then, of course, the motherboard that would support the shell or case. What would you call? You know, anyway. Uh, let's see if I got everything else. I the percentage, uh, percentage. Why isn't there an industry standard? You know, the only thing uh, I'm grateful for is that uh, most of the cables and connections on notebooks are are pretty standard. I mean, FireWire potentially, USB most certainly. You know, network cabling uh, most likely. And you know some audio ports. Now that you got Express Card or PCM CIA, and there's a limited set. You're not looking at a, a million and one different types of, of connectors unless you've got a really bad laptop. Um, you know, you got uh, pretty much everything you might. Oh, I looked on the back. There's nothing on the back. Forgot it's a MacBook, or I should say MacBook Pro. Here, doesn't come with this. I this is the customization. That's about as much customization as as I would do to a, uh, a laptop or my own notebook computer is duct tape, I'm sorry, electrical tape, a mouse pad with my logo to the uh, back of it. Any old way, uh, what are your thoughts on this, guys? Uh, you know, have you found one? Have you done one? Uh, is it something you'd be interested in, building your own notebook PC? Uh, Personally, I, I'm just not. It doesn't doesn't interest me in the slightest. And then more, more uh, I guess I'm more curious to know what you guys think the percentage of people, let's just say not just in the U.S., but in the entire world that build their own computer. What's What do you think the percentage is? Because I think it's less than five. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's less than five. I have a lot of friends, and very few of them have built their own computers and at least, you know, done it well. <laughs> 95%? You mean 3%? I'm with Josh. I think it's about 3. 2 to 3%. There are a lot of people. Even in the U.S., there are a lot of people. And think about all the people that you walk by every day. How many of those people do you think have built their own computer? Just think about it. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you got further thoughts on this topic. Uh, and then, of course, you're also welcome to uh, leave a video follow-up response to this video. I'm sure you're going to leave a comment anyway. Uh, and then you're also welcome to stop by our website where we're streaming live video pretty much 24 hours a day. Uh, typically talking tech, uh, hardware, software, internet, you know, you just never know what's going to happen, what kind of tech support nightmare we're going to have to deal with, and, and, and frustration may possibly ensue. Oh, isn't it fun to be a techie? Did you catch that little face there? That was the, that was the best. Oh, the website? Uh, people are, have been telling you where you guys can join us because uh, we're here. 
waiting for you at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.